Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Eby with Mission Move Physical Therapy here in Roswell, Georgia. And today I want to teach you guys a little bit about something I've been seeing lately when doing some bike fits. And it's a position fault where people get into position that actually limits their power. And there's several reasons that they get, end up in this position. So I want to show you what that position is and then give you some ways to correct it. So what I'm talking about here as I get on the bike is I see a lot of people that end up in a position where their back is more rounded towards the upper back, their low back is flat, and they're making this straight arm reach for, um, for the handlebars here to, for their hoods. So they're riding a little bit like this. And what this does is it kind of puts more of their body on the whole back half of the bike, okay? And so when they're back here like this, it's almost as if, and I mean, this would be kind of an exaggeration, but it's almost like they're riding like a recumbent bike. It's like they're pedaling forward a little bit and they're not as much over top of the pedals push in, in a, what I would say is a better position for power of actually pushing down on the pedals in this position, okay? So I kind of look at it as like a, um, it's almost like a 50-50 distribution of where their body is on the bike. It's not 50-50 of where their weight is on the bike. That's not what I'm saying. It's just more that if, if they're in this position here and I would draw a line up from the bottom bracket, it would come up through their shoulders or right behind the shoulders as opposed to being in a position here where there's a more universal curve of the back and they're more over top that bottom bracket, which allows them to push down um, harder and a little bit easier on the pedals to, um, for some power when they're pedaling. And I'll even show you an example of this in a subsequent video of how that body, the upper position, can dictate how much power you can put through the lower position. So there's several reasons why people might, might end up in this position and um, two of it is flexibility issues, right? So one is flexibility of the hip joint, meaning is if, they don't, if you don't have flexibility of the hips as your leg comes up, your femur will kind of push your pelvis backwards, right? If you lack the ability to bring that femur up. The second is just flexibility of the whole posterior chain of the body. It's your hamstrings, your glutes, and your low back all together are too tight to allow you to get into this more forward flexed position. So then you have no choice but to keep this part of your back flat and curve the upper part of your, of your back. Then um, another aspect of why people don't end up in this position here is they actually, if they do, are able, let's say flexibility wise, to get into this position, then they don't have the back strength or core strength to stay in this position. They have to kind of come back here and put more of their weight onto the seat because they don't have the ability, this, um, the strength to stay in this position for more than a short period of time. So we'll also address core and posterior chain strength to allow them um, to be able to show you how to get better into this um, position that will give you a little bit more power. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'll be addressing these things I talked about in, in some videos coming up, so um, look for those. And I will uh, talk to you guys soon.